Hello, my name is Pete McKenna, and today I will be testing the Microsoft SQL 13.1 plugin. The objectives for today are to build a test case scenario with EM version 13.2. So first I will push the 12.1.0.5 version of the agent to a server running uh, Microsoft SQL 2012. I'll then push the 13.2 agent to a box running Microsoft SQL Server 2014. On the OMS and both of the agents, I will deploy plugin version 12.1.0.6. I'll then discover the SQL Server targets. Uh, I will then upgrade the plugin on the OMS to 13.1. I'll upgrade the plugin on the 13.2 agent box to version 13.1. And I have, finally, I will upgrade the SQL Server target to 2016. <clears throat> so you can see here I am uh, downloading the 12.1.0.5 agent software to be pushed to the Microsoft SQL 2012 box. And after that is downloaded, downloaded, I apply it to the management server. Following the very short download, once that's succeeded, um, I jump over to the command line on the OMS itself and execute the command emcli submit at host. I specify the host name, specify the platform uh, number, the installation base directory, the credential name, and the agent version. Once that command succeeds, uh, I am able to track the job using emcli uh, git add host status and then the session name, which you can see here uh, a couple of things have succeeded, but the installation is in progress. Once I see everything succeed via the command line, I jump back over to the web UI and begin to prepare to push out the 13.2 agent to the SQL 14 uh, server itself. Uh, you can see there I specify the platform. And then on the next page, I uh, specify the installation base directory, which is just C slash agent. And then the instance directory is auto-populated after that. Um, I use a named credential Oracle, which is just the administrator and the password for the administrator on the Windows box itself. Following that, um, I hit next and then deploy. You can see that that succeeded, all green check marks, all good things. So now I will go back and deploy the 12.1.0.6 uh, Microsoft SQL Server plugin on the OMS and both of the SQL targets. Here I specify the uh, repository username and password. Since I do the same thing on uh, each of the servers, I have decided to speed this video up about double time. Uh, you can still see what I'm doing, but uh, it's, a, it's a little bit quicker than real time. After the plugin is deployed um, successfully on the management server, I go ahead and deploy on the management agents on both of those servers, the 2012 and the 2014 SQL servers. Um, that all goes successfully. Mm -hmm. 
So now I begin the process of auto-discovering those SQL targets, um, both the 2012 and the 2014. I sped up the configuration just a little bit. Again, you can see what I'm doing, um, but you don't have to sit through it in real time as I make typos and have to delete things. And uh, Here is just the SA role, the database password, the sysadm as the database role, and the JDBC URL of the 2012 server. After both of those targets are discovered, you can see that they're listed as SQL 12 and SQL 14. Uh, on the SQL 12, it looks like everything's reporting back. Uh, not a lot of data is coming back because it's not an active uh, database. Uh, you can see the same is true on the SQL 14 uh, instance as well. Here I go ahead and log in using EMCLI. I sync up and then I begin importing the 13.1 plugin using import update. I specify OMS local because I am on the OMS and then uh, I specify the, fi uh, the file I need to import which is uh, a .opar. Once that has uh, succeeded, um, use check update on the web UI which gives me access to the 13.1 plugin and then lets me deploy from the web UI itself. Again here I sped it up to about uh, a double time so you can still see what I'm doing. You can still see that I'm deploying the 13.1 agent on the management server and then both of the management agents, but you don't have to sit through it in real time. Now I begin the process of upgrading the SQL 2014 server to SQL Server 2016. Um, since that installation process is kind of lengthy, I figured it might be out of the scope of the video so I decided to leave out the installation component. Um, but you can see that uh, the 13.1 agent is uh, deployed on the SQL 14 target, which has now been upgraded to 2016, and you can see in the database version that to be true. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Pete McKenna, and this was testing the Microsoft SQL 13.1 plugin. Thanks again.